Hello everyone and welcome back to another MHC chess game by Wilhelm Steinitz against his unknown opponent who has the black pieces and this chess game happened in 1863 in London, England and this is actually a rookos chess game as you can see Steinitz surrendered his whole rook before the chess game so he's playing without one of his rooks and let's see what happened this is a pretty beautiful chess game so Steinitz starts the game with e4, we have e5, knight to f3, knight to f6, and this is actually the Russian game. d4, e takes on d4, so this is actually a logical thing to do. He wants to open the files, and he is actually uh, developing his pieces quite rapidly, so that his chances to checkmate his opponent's king uh, is going to be so much more. He is going to have... He is trying to maximize that chance, so pushing the pawn, defending the knight, and then queen takes on d4, c6, defending the knight, and as you can see, he is simply developing his pieces very quickly, queen to b6, and queen to e4 by Wilhelm Steinitz, not exchanging the queens of course, so he is a rook down, castling after developing the bishop, knight to e7. So that's a very passive move. I actually didn't like this move of black. Black should have considered developing his knight. Maybe knight to a6. Or even castling should have been much better. But this is an undeveloping move. Knight to e7. And Steinitz is quickly going for the throat. It looks like he is aiming on f7. And how to defend. So we have this desperate looking move g6 and in this position actually black can't castle because if castling this is getting checkmated. <laughs> so that's very obvious of course. So knight to g5 and it looks like this is a pretty annoying position. Also aiming on f7 so how to defend. g6 and Steinitz captured on f7. Slowly black is losing the advantage. Defending the rook and knight to d6 by Wilhelm Steinitz checking the king and we have king to d8 actually capturing the knight might cross your mind but if capturing the knight with the bishop then we take back and what is defending the knight the knight is pinned and this is actually all over if queen goes back defending with the queen then white has a very strong move and that is developing the silent bishop, bishop to g5, and this is lost for black. Black can even resign. The computer engine gives white some 11 plus point advantage. Look at black's position. All of black's position, all of black's pieces are in the 8th rank. The knight is pinned. So let's see what happened. Uh, we have knight to d6, defending the king. And white has a very strong move. What would you do in this position? The move is queen to h4. Actually, this is a very strong move. And also, it looks like Wilhelm Steinitz is planning to play bishop to g5. The knight is pinned. So, defending with the queen, queen to c6. Actually, this is not defending anything. Queen goes back. I didn't understand the purpose of this move. But actually, seriously, after bishop to g5 how to defend and uh, if you take the knight uh, black is going to run into the same problem we are going to take back and the knight is going to be pinned again so queen to c7 and white has a very strong move in this position can you guess that move if i give you a few seconds what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces i am going to count until three but if you want you can pause the video so i'm counting right now one, two, and three. So this is the move of Steinitz. Queen takes on e7. Boom! <laughs> what a shot. So king takes on e7 is the only move. But then bishop check. The silent bishop joins the attack. And where is the king queen? This is the only legal move. But then capturing the rook with check. And black played king to f8. Hoping to escape, but actually there is no escape. And before forgetting, if capturing the knight, this is not a skewer, this is checkmate. <laughs> Beautiful checkmate. And after e takes on f6, king to f8, and 
Wilhelm Steinitz, Checkmates the King, once again. In this position, White has a checkmate. That's Bishop to h6, checkmate. The knight and the bishop covers the escape squares. Also, the pass pawn is covering the escape square and checkmating the king with the bishop. How beautiful is this? And what do you think about this chess game? I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time with more beautiful, amazing chess games. Take care, stay safe and bye bye.